EA, Activision and Blizzard, three companies that all produce games. And in the early 2000s, there was no problems with them at all, making tons of great games. But in the last 10 years, games have just felt very boring and bland and repetitive. And it's like I can't even play any of the new titles coming out these days because they have either been made poorly, filled with bugs or just have really stupid microtransactions. Now, why has this been happening? When there was only a couple of programmers just working on games instead of big companies, there was a lot more room for designing stuff that they were actually invested in, meaning that they would create them faster and with more creativity, which is when we had titles made like COD World at War and tons of others, which were great titles that even had hidden things in game, kinda like a cheat code, and one of them was in the campaign, which gave you the ray gun, one of the wonder weapons from zombies. And the issue of games now is that the people working at these massive corporations have just set targets and times to create games, which can put stress onto the people working there. And there is why I believe modern gaming has just gotten worse. Because back like 20 years ago, they were just making like stuff on their own and just trying to create games that they themselves liked and would play by themselves. And they also had creative freedom to make whatever they wanted, considering nowadays they don't. And Nowadays, games are just hyped up to the player base for absolute years until the game finally comes out and then the hype straight up just, just dies. So, some good examples of this would be Cyberpunk 2077 or every year the COD games comes out. And to me, it's just boring. Like, most of the games that are coming out just feel very bland. And I often sit there for like 30 minutes looking for a game to play and then eventually just, just go play a game that I played like the other day. And now, why could this be happening? And let's go through the reasons as to why gaming could have actually gotten worse. So the last two COD games have been remasters, which were kind of dog shit. Yeah, the games were both meh, but they literally could not ruin it. They already had the source material anyway, but there is some hope with Golf War coming out. And another remastered game, the GTA Trilogy, which had three of the old games, bearing in mind I haven't played any of them, but I saw an image of the before and after, and it just looks like they changed the game resolution to 1080p and slapped a $60 price tag on it, which is extremely scummy and definitely deserved the re reviews it's got. It's not to mention, by the way, the crashing and bugs in the game. Layoffs. And these things happen to all companies, but this has been happening a lot in the gaming community for uh, like the last few years, where companies are just getting rid of hundreds of employees working for them. And yeah, obviously I do know that, you know, they these companies have to make a profit somehow, and if they aren't, then they're gonna have to start laying off employees. But there was one incident back in 2013 with Nintendo, where the owner decided to take away 50% of his own pay cut, you know, to not lay off employees, which is something that these big corporations, you know, they could do, to avoid this. And this may be why we had a lot of game delays, because they needed extra people to work on the game, which they don't actually have anymore. Triple A companies, just literally more money hungry. Most games now have some like stupid battle pass or some sort of like cosmetics in game, which don't get me wrong, right? Some games do it very well and the skins actually look really nice. It, like, but it's just such a common thing now in like every game. They have to have like some sort of battle pass or something like that just to make some extra money. And it, it just really gives me a sour taste, especially when it's a paid game. So you pay quite a bit of money for the full game and then you have to spend more money on cosmetics. In my opinion, there just isn't many games to excite me anymore, which may be because I've grown up a lot now, but it feels like games are just coming out like are only good like 20% of the time and the other 80% is just wasted hope or just has too many bugs. And that is why I just go back to the older games and play them instead because they're still quite fun and you can get quite a lot of enjoyment out of them even if they're only like, you know, 10 plus years old. But we have had some good games recently like Elden Ring which wasn't really recently but it was a really good game nonetheless and Hogwarts Legacy which I haven't played but I have heard that it was another really good game, and so there is hope for gaming in the near future. And can gaming get better? Definitely. As long as the companies become a little bit less money hungry and actually talk to their community a little bit more and see what they want to see added. And with that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, uh, and make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.